Um, that boy is, is blessed. Huyo kijana amebarikiwa mtoto. He is being born out of the word. Amezaliwa kutoka kwenye katika neno. And uh, you see the pastor is the one that is to go and do the delivery. <laughs> Sasa naona mchungaji mwenyewe ndiye amehusika kwenda kuzalisha kule. <laughs> so it's it's the grace of God. Kwa ni kwa neema ya Mungu. And we always celebrate life. Na daima huwa tunasherekea uzima. Amen. If you can just raise me up a bit brother Justin. Kama unaweza kupandisha kidogo hii ndugu Justin. Uh, I'm getting now to the to the end so my Nafika mwisho sasa my voice is is tired. Sauti yangu imechoka. But the spirit is still willing. Lakini roho bado yuko pamoja nami. Uh, so kwa hiyo you have been wonderful mmekuwa watu wa ajabu sana and uh, i would like to appreciate all of you nami ningependa kuwashukuru ni wote uh, when i go back to south africa nitakaporudi afrika kusini i'm going to take with me a very good report nitarudi huko nikiwa na taarifa nzuri kabisa that uh, you are wonderful people kwamba ninyi ni watu wa ajabu kweli kweli you love the lord you love the message mpenda mungu mnapenda ujumbe and uh, na you also love the prophet na pia mnampenda nabii amen uh, we are now living in very dangerous times wakati huu tunaishi katika nyakati hatari sana Uh, where people don't believe fully ambapo watu hawaamini hawaamini kabisa it's like a cake that is half turned ni kama keki ambayo ime half half turned yeah. it's not it's not properly yes ah uh, ni kama keki ambayo imeiva nusu uh, So you see people believe some things and don't believe some things. Unajua kuna baadhi ya watu kuna baadhi ya vitu wanaviamini vingine hawaviamini. But we believe everything. Lakini sisi tunaamini kila kitu. Everything that brother Branham taught. Kila kitu ambacho ndugu Branham alifundisha. We believe it. Tunakiamini. Uh, there is going to be many things that will come up. Kutakuepo na mambo mengi atakayoinuka. There's already many things that has come up. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo tayari yameinuka but stay with the message. Lakini simama na ujumbe. Stay with the tap teaching. Simama na mafundisho ya kanda. Amen. Amen. Uh, I was talking to somebody at some time. Nilikuwa naongea na mtu fulani wakati fulani. He says you, you don't believe the tape. Akasema wewe uamini kanda. I said why do you say so? Nikamuuliza kwa nini unasema hivi? He says because you are not making the tape to play in church. Asema kwa sababu wewe hauchezi kanda kanisani. So I said uh, Mimi nikasema Brother Branham, Duke Branham said say what the tape says. Alisema semeni kile ambacho kanda inasema. So, so He didn't say play what the tape says. Hakusema chezeni kile kanda inasema. He said you say it. Alisema ninyi ndio mseme. So I believe the tape. Mimi naamini kanda because I am saying what the tape says. Kwa sababu ninasema kile kanda inasema. Believing is not playing. Kuamini sio kucheza. Believing is doing. Kuamini ni kufanya vitendo. If Jesus says go and baptize. Kama Yesu akisema nendeni mkabatize. And you say you believe Jesus. Alafu ukasema unamwamini Yesu. And you keep saying go and baptize. Alafu wewe unaendelea tu kusema nendeni mkabatize. Go and baptize. Nendeni mkabatize. That's not believing. Huko sio kuamini. Believing is doing. Kuamini ni kwenda kufanya. What he has said. Kila alichosema. Amen. Amina. So I am 
what the tape is saying. Amen. Amen. We started preaching this message 20 years ago when I received this message. 20 years, believe it is. And I have never changed whatever I have believed. By nature, God has made me to be a person who doesn't like sharp tens. Today we are doing this. Tomorrow we are doing something else. Today our sisters are dressing like this. Tomorrow their skates are becoming shorter. Today we are having natural hair. Tomorrow we are having the tails of donkeys. Kesho tuna nywele ambazo ziko kama mikia ya farasi. No se. Hapana iyo. What I believed. Kile nacho amini. From day one. Kile nacho ishi siku ya kwanza. Is what I still believe. No kile ambacho na amini siku ya mwisho. When we started. Tulipo anza. We were not watching television. Hatuku wa tunangalia TV. Today. Leo. We are not watching television. Hatuangalia TV. When we started, we were wearing long skirts. Today, we are wearing long skirts. So I am a young old timer. Yeah. We don't modernize the gospel. Atujaribu kufanya injiri iwe ya kisasa. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amini. Even if you don't like what I'm saying, can you say amen? Hata kama upendi kile nacho sema, unaweza kusema amina. We don't preach to deliver a sermon. Hatuubiri mradi tu kulitoa somo liende. We preach to deliver the people. Bali tunaubiri ili kuwafungua watu. That's why we sometimes don't follow our notes. Ndio mara nyingi sana hata hatufuatilii notes tulizoandika hapa. Because the notes are the sermon. Kwa sababu hizo notes ndio somo tulioandaa. But what's important is not the sermon. Lakini cha msingi sio lile somo lioandaliwa. It's the person. Ni yule mtu. Amen. So sometimes we say things you don't like. So wakati mwingine tunasema mambo ambayo hatutaki kuyasema. Brother Branham says the medicine that is bitter. is the one that helps you. This thing of wanting two sweet things. Who cause diabetes? It has a babisha kisukari. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? Too much sweet things. Kula vitu vitamu vitamu sana will cause diabetes. Itasababisha kisukari. But somewhere here and there, lakini mahali fulani hapa na pale, you need bitter herbs. Tunaweza tunahitaji dawa chungu chungu hizi. So that they make you well. Ili zikufanye uwe sawa. We are we are in another exodus. Tuko kwenye kutoka nyingine. Amen. Amen. And at the time of an exodus, na and the at the time of an exodus, there is always a lamb, roasted lamb, you eat it with your loins girded, you stuff in the hand, and there is bitter heads. And you eat everything. Can you say amen? There is no part of the message that you say I don't like. You eat everything. You can't say I'm allergic. If I eat I vomit. We will feed you. If you want to vomit. We will hold your mouth. Let it stay in there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the message stay in you. Let
Let the message stay in you. Yes. Let it stay inside of you. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Let's stand up on our feet. God richly bless you. May he grant your heart's desires. Amen. May Amen. he bless our pastor here for inviting me for the confidence. We appreciate it. May he bless Elder Chidaya uh, we really appreciate him. I've come to also love him. He has a wonderful spirit. See real old timers. And we are so grateful for that. May he bless all of you. Amen. 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 I like it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I recorded when she was doing that. So I will, I will play it in South Africa. Amen. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Habakuki sura ya pili. Amen. So Habakuk is in the Old Testament. Habakuki iko katika gano la kale. It's one of the minor prophets. Moja wapo wa manabi wa dogo. It says. Nasema. Verses two. Em sari wa pili. The Lord answered me. Na mungu. And said, write the vision. Make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it. Yeah. <laughs> I know I know many translations they say something different. You know, uh, when it comes to the Bible. So we should just interpret our understanding of the message. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak. And not lie. Though it tarry. Wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Hebrews chapter 9. From verses 11. Hebrews but Christ being come lakini Kristo akisha kuja in a high priest of good things to come aliye kuhani mkuu wa mambo mema yatakayo kuwapo by a greater and more perfect tabernacle kwa hema iliyo kubwa na kamilifu zaidi not made with hands isiyo fanyika kwa mikono um okay that is to say, not of this building. Neither by the blood of goats and cows. But by his own blood he entered uh, in once into the holy place. Having obtained eternal redemption for us. And for the blood of bulls, and if the blood of bulls and goats, kwa maana ikiwa damu ya mbuzi na mafahali, and the ashes of a of an heifer sprinkling na, na the majivu, unclean, na majivu ya ndama ya ngombe walio nyunyiziwa wenye uchafu, sanctifieth to the purification, Huta, uh, the, to the purifying of the flesh, utakasa hata kuusafisha mwili, 
How much more the blood of Christ? Basi si zaidi damu ya Yesu ya Kristo. Who through it the, the, the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God. Ambaye kwamba kwa roho wa milele alijitoa nafsi yake kwa Mungu. Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Kwa sadaka sio na mawa itawasafisha dhamiri zenu na matendo mafu mpate kumwabudu Mungu aliye hai. For this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament. Na kwa sababu hii ni mjumbe wa agano jipya. That by means of death ili mau ili kwa njia ya mauti for the redemption of the transgressions kisha kufanyika kwa kukomboa makosa that were under the first testament yaliyokuwa chini ya agano la kwanza they which are called might receive the promise of of eternal inheritance hao walioitwa waipokea ahadi ya urithi wa milele For where a testament is there must of necessity be the death of the testator. Maana agano la urithi lilipo lazima iwepo mauti yake aliyelifanya. For a testament is of force after uh, men are dead. Kwa maana agano la urithi lina nguvu palipotukia kufa kwa mtu. Otherwise it is of no strength at all while the testator lives. Kwa kuwa halina nguvu kabisa akiwa yuhai yeye aliyelifanya. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. Kwa hiyo hata lile la kwanza alikuanzwa eh, alikuanzwa pasipo damu. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood for when Mo- Moses had spoken every a precept to all the people according to the law he took the blood of calves and goats with water and scarlet wool and he soap and sprinkled the book and all the people maana kila amri alipokwisha ilipokwisha kunenwa na Musa kwa hao watu wote kama ilivyo kama ilivyo amuru sheria alitwa alitwa damu ya ndama na mbuzi pamoja na maji na sufu nyekundu na isopo akakinyunyizia kitabu chenyewe na watu wote amen let us bow our heads for a word of prayer hebu tunamishe vichwa vyetu tuombe father we come before your throne of grace baba tunakuja mbele ya kiti chako cha rehema we ask your mercy and your grace tunaomba rehema zako na neema yako we pray that you may help us this morning tunaomba kwamba utatusaidia asubuhi ya leo Lord Jesus Christ we are trusting that you come in this service. Bwana Yesu Kristo tunaamini kwamba utakuja katika ibada hii. And I pray that Lord God Almighty you may anoint these words. Na naomba kwamba e Mungu mwenyezi utapaka mafuta maneno haya that they may be spirit filled spoken words. Kwamba yawe neno lilo nenwa la roho Dear God, I pray that you may touch our sound. Hebu naomba Bwana kwamba utagusa sehemu sauti zetu that we may have a blessed service. Ili tuwe na ibada iliyo ya baraka. We pray as we commit all things into your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Naomba tukabidhi mambo yote mikononi mwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Unaweza kukaa sasa. Praise God. Mungu atukuswe. Now, sasa Uh, we have read two portions of scripture. Tumesoma sehemu mbili za maandiko. Very interesting. Zile ambazo ni zinavutia kweli. The first one talking about a vision. Moja inanena kuhusu ono. And the second one talking about a testament. Na jingine inanena kuhusu agano. So I want to talk about a speaking vision. Sasa nataka ninene kuhusu ono linaloongea. Ono linalonena and the third testament na agano la tatu a speaking vision ono linalonena and the third testament na agano la tatu praise the lord mungu atukuzwe now the bible has just said sasa biblia imesema for where a testament is kwamba mahali agano lilipo there is also of necessity be pia, the death of the testator pia kuna haja ya kuwepo na yule aliyetoa agano lakini awe amekufa and uh, without the shedding of the blood kwa sababu pasipo kumwagwa kwa damu there is the testament is not of effect ile agano halina maana yoyote therefore blood is necessary kwa hivyo damu ni muhimu 
in the certification of a testament katika kupitisha ile agano now a testament is like a will kwa sababu agano ni kama wosia wa mtu kabla jafa so before he dies he writes uh, kabla ajafa anaandika all his inheritance anaandika urithi wake wote in fact, it's not in, it's all his possessions right anaandika mali zake zote anazomiliki it only becomes inheritance when he has died ah uh, inakuwa urithi baada yeye kufa everything that he owns kila kitu anachomiliki so maybe he has got children labda ana watoto wadogo so he writes uh, the house in such a place kwa hiyo anaandika kwamba nyumba iliyoko mahali fulani it's supposed to go to so and so hiyo anatakiwa achukue fulani na fulani the car in such a place gari liloko mahali fulani it's supposed to go to so and so atachukua fulani na fulani sometimes this man wakati mwingine huyu jamaa huyo mtu is got secret wealth anaweza akawa na mali za siri that nobody knows about ambazo hakuna mtu anayezijua but he knows if i'm going to die lakini anajua kwa sababu atakufa siku moja and nobody knows about this na hakuna anayejua mali hizi these things will perish vitu hivi vitakuja kuangamia tu or they are going to be taken by people ama vitachukuliwa na watu that it doesn't belong to ambao hawahusiki kabisa so he, he makes sure that it is written kwa ana hakikisha anaviandika chini so that he uh, the, the, the people that are living his children kusudi wale watoto wanaoishi watu watu wanaoishi watoto wake wale are able to inherit something wataweza kurithi kitu fulani even if you don't have money hata kama huna pesa even if you are not rich hata kama wewe si tajiri you must leave something for your children lazima uachie watoto wako kitu fulani to inherit ta kurithi if you don't have money kama huna hela at least leave them with the word basi waachie neno can you say amen naweza kusema amen every one of us kila mmoja wetu we have an obligation tuna wajibika to leave an inheritance behind waachia kuacha urithi nyuma we preach as if the lord is coming tomorrow tunahubiri kana kwamba bwana anakuja kesho but our planning is to consider the future lakini mpango wetu lazima pia uzingatie maisha ya mbele the only thing that you are, you are not just supposed to make your children inherit your sicknesses and things hutakiwi kuacha watoto wako warithi tu magonjwa yako na kila kitu to say i inherited sugar diabetes from my father kama oh nilirithi kisukari kwa baba yangu i inherited skin disease from my mother huu ugonjwa wa ngozi nilirithi kwa mama yangu let them inherit good things acha warithi vitu vizuri leave them with something good waachie kitu kizuri at least leave them with a the word angali angala waachie neno can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. Receive the Holy Ghost. Pokeeni Roho Mtakatifu. It's very important. Ni muhimu sana. You know it's very easy for an old sister to be called an, a witch. Unajua ni rahisi sana kumuita dada ambaye ni mzee sana kumuita kumuita mchawi. The only thing that will make your children not call you you are the one who is bewitching us receive the holy ghost. Kitu pekee ambacho kitakufanya wewe ukizeeka watoto wako wasikuite mchawi wasisitizi na nipokea kwanza Roho Mtakatifu. Mtakatifu. Roho Mtakatifu. Yeah. Eh. So you become a witch. Kwa utaitwa mchawi bure. People are calling you a witch. There's no holy ghost. Watu wanakuita mchawi kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu hayupo. Because naturally getting old makes people grumpy. Unajua kuzeeka mara nyingi kunafanya watu wanaonekana wanakuwa na sura isiyovutia. Naturally. Kwa asili. But the Holy Ghost makes an old person sweet. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu anamfanya mtu ambaye ni mzee anakuwa mtamu. The Holy Ghost Roho Mtakatifu makes you sweet. Anakufanya uwe mtamu. When naturally you are grumpy. Wakati ambapo kiwali yani katika uhalisia kimwili unaonekana kama umechoka. That's that's why a pregnant message believer is different from a pregnant unbeliever. Ndio maana mwanamke ambaye ni mjamzito lakini muaminio yuko tofauti na yule ambaye ni mjamzito lakini sio muaminio. A pregnant unbeliever will say my pregnant is hating people. 
Eh, I don't like this one. I don't like that one. An unbeliever. Yule manamke ambaye nimjamzito asio amini anasema ah i mimi na nifanya nimchukie huyu nimchukie yule mchukie yule. But brother Branham tells us that if you are a believer ukiwa maaminio you are sweet when you are pregnant unakuwa mtamu unapokuwa mjamzito because around you there is there is a spirit kwa sababu kama mazingira aliyokuzunguka pale kuna roho fulani that is about to be received ambayo inakaribia kutokea kitu fulani he says and the spirit of that baby nasema na roho ya huyo mtoto makes the mother sweet inamfanya mama awe mtamu So I don't understand some of our sisters. That become very moody when they are pregnant. Ambao wanakuwa wakatili wanapokuwa wajawazi. What spirit is around you? Hiyo roho gani imekuzunguka? That is making you so grand. Inakufanya unakuwa na uso mgumu. You need the Holy Ghost. Unahitaji Roho Mtakatifu. That was Samaria. Hiyo ilikuwa ni Samaria. We were not supposed to go there. Hatukutakiwa kwenda Samaria. Huko tulikuwa tuko Samaria. To... Lakini sasa kulikuwa na mtu uko Samaria ametulazimisha tupite Samaria. Yeah. Amen. The shedding of blood kumwagwa kwa damu is necessary. Ni muhimu for the testament to be of effect. Ili kusudi agano liwe na na nguvu. The Bible says. Biblia nasema. For it is of necessity. Kwa sababu ni muhimu. That the testator must die first. Kusudi yule aliyeandika agano afe kwanza. That the testament is of force. Kusudi agano liweze kutumika. I want to say. Nataka niseme. The message of the hour. Ujumbe wa saa. Was not as powerful when brother Branham was alive. Haukuwa na nguvu sana kam wakati Nubrana alipokuwa hai When brother Branham was alive wakati Nubrana alikuwa hai there was potential mistakes that could have happened Kulikuwa na baadhi ya vimakosa vingine vinaweza kutokea But now that brother Branham is not here Lakini kwa sababu Nubrana hayuko hapa The message is more powerful Ujumbe una nguvu zaidi than it was when he was alive kuliko ulivyokuwa wakati yuko hai for there must be the death of the testator kwa sababu lazima afe kwanza yule mweka mweka agano for the testament to be of force hiyo agano liweze kufanya kazi vizuri can you say amen naweza kusema amen and the one that writes the testament na yule anayeandika agano is not the one that comes to read the will sio yule atakaye kuja kusoma wasia huo after he has died akisha kufa They give it to the lawyer. Wanamkabidhi mwanasheria. And the lawyer comes. Mwanasheria anakuja. The lawyer does not change anything. Mwanasheria abadilishi chochote. He gathers the children. Anakusanya watoto. Hallelujah. Amen. He gathers the children. Anakusanya watoto. And he says this is your father's promise to you. Anawaambia hii ndio ahadi ya baba yenu kwenu. Hallelujah. Amen. He says the house in Majumba Sita. Asema nyumba iliyoko Majumba Sita. It belongs to so and so. Ni ya fulani na fulani. The car in in Segera. Ga, gari iliyoko Segerea. It belongs to so and so. Ni la fulani na fulani. The the, the 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 lawyer yule mwanasheria cannot do anything. Hawezi kufanya chochote. Even if the child hata is kama, is crippled. Hata kama yule mtoto ni mlemavu, ni Even if the child is naturally blind. Hata kama yule mtoto ni kipofu. That doesn't change the Hiyo promise. Aibadilishi wasia. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Even if you were brought up in a very ugly background. Hata kama ulelelewa katika mazingira nyuma iliyo mabaya sana. Maybe your parents were witch doctors. Labda watoto wazazi wako walikuwa wachawi. It doesn't change the promise. Hiyo haibadilisha ahadi. Are you hearing me? Unalisikia? Maybe you are the black sheep of the family. Labda wewe ndio kondoo mweusi kwenye familia yako. Nobody likes you. Hakuna naye kupenda. Nobody talks to you. Hakuna naye anaongea na wewe. Nobody values you. Hakuna naye kuthamini. What's important? Kilicho cha muhimu is what the father wrote about you. Kile baba alichoandika kukuhusu. Lore. Eh. When, when the will is being read out wakati wasia unasomwa it is being read out so that you can claim unasomwa kusudi udai mali yako claim my inheritance 
Dai urithi wako. We say healing belongs to you. Nasema uponyaji ni mali yako. You stand up you say that's my inheritance. Unasimama unasema huu urithi wangu. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Unasikia mtu fulani. We say the Holy Ghost belongs to you. Roho mtakatifu ni mali yako. You stand up you say that is my inheritance. Unasimama unasema urithi wangu. We say the rapture belongs to you. Sema unyakuo ni mali yako. You say that is my inheritance. Huo ni urithi wangu. We say perfection belongs to you. Ukamilifu ni mali yako. You say that is my inheritance. Nasema huo urithi wangu nashukuru. Even if you feel like a sinner. Hata kama unajisikia kama we ni mwenye dhambi. You feel like I'm a sinner. Unajisikia kama we ni mwenye dhambi. I've sinned the day of my redemption. Yaani nimeona njia ya ukombozi wangu. It doesn't change. Haibadilishi. The promise of God. Ahadi haibadiliki. Predestination. Ukuchaguliwa kimbele. Is based on knowing the end of the matter. Umejengwa juu ya msingi wa ule kujua mwisho kujua mwisho wa mambo. Am I preaching to eagles? Naubiria tai. Oh, I'm preaching to chickens. Au naubiria kuku. We are not chickens. Sisi sio kuku. We don't we don't we don't we don't pick away parui, some of the things. Hatuparui parui na kuondoa baadhi ya vitu. You know how exactly it Tuna, does this. Unajua kuku anaparua na kuchambua chambua vitu. Hallelujah. Amen. A chicken cannot believe the whole message of the hour. Kuku hawezi kuamini ujumbe wote. It gets into some things. Anabagua na kuchagua baadhi. It says women should not preach. Tusema wanawake wasihubiri. A chicken will be doing this. Kuku anaparua. Women must dress properly. Wanawake wavae kwa kujistiri. A chicken will do this. Kuku anaparua. Don't put on makeup. Usijipodoe. A chicken will do this. Kuku anaparua. But we are eagles. Lakini tai. We believe the small things. Tuna we believe we believe the small things. Tunaamini hata mambo madogo madogo. And we believe the big things. Na tunaamini mambo makubwa. We believe everything. Tunaamini kila kitu. Everything. Kila kitu. This is the last day of the feast. Hii ndio siku ya mwisho ya sherehe. Jesus is going to turn water into wine. Yesu anaenda kugeuza maji yawe divai. Amen. Amen. Someone, mtu fulani. Someone, mtu fulani is going to be drunk today. Hata leo leo. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to be drunk. Utalewa wewe. I am going to be drunk also. Na mimi nitalewa pia. If you are going to ask me tomorrow, kama utaniuliza kesho, to say what did I say? Nasema, hivi ulisema nini? I will say I don't remember I was drunk. Nakwambia sikumbuki chochote nilikuwa nimeelewa. A drunk man mtu mlevi is not responsible for what he says hawajibiki na yale aliyosema akiwa amelewa what is responsible is the alcohol anayewajibika ni ile pombe aliyokunywa so what is inside of me sasa kilichoko ndani yangu will be responsible for my declarations kitawajibika na yale ninayotangaza hapa we have the power tunayo nguvu to bind members tuna nguvu ya kumfunga nyoka we have the power tuna nguvu to bind sickness ya kufunga magonjwa to bind witchcraft kufunga ushawi i have that power nina nguvu hiyo this afternoon i have that power shana huu ninayo nguvu hiyo some of you baadhi yenu you are gonna go back home mtarudi nyumbani you realize i'm a changed person mnatambua kwamba umebadilishwa Hallelujah. Amen. You try to drink like you used to drink. Unajaribu kunywa kama ulivyokuwa umezoea kunywa. And then you find yourself I can't drink anymore. Una, unajikuta siwezi kunywa pombe. You try to take the cigarette. Unajaribu kuchukua sigara. You find I can't take the cigarette. Unajikuta huwezi kunywa vuta sigara. If you are a gossiper. Kama ulikuwa msengenyaji. You try to take your phone to gossip. Unachukua simu unataka kusengenya mtu. You find the phone is crashing. Nakuta simu inaharibikia huko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Ndio. God is going to make it possible. Mungu atawezesha mambo yote. Brother Branham says. Bwana anasema. Wait till I leave the city. Subirini hadi niache huu mji huu. Niondoke. Are you hearing me? Amen. He says wait till I leave the city. Ngojeni niondoke mjini. You will be coming to your pastor. Mtawaende wachungaji wenu. With testimonies of what has happened. Na shuhuda zilizotokea kwenye mkutano. It's already happening now. Hiyo itatendeka sasa. If God can make a Tinashe be born, 
kama Mungu anaweza kufanya tinashe azaliwe What about you? Vipi kuhusu wewe? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's a season of giving birth. Huu haya ni majira ya kujifungua. New things are being declared. Mambo mapya yanatangazwa. New things are being declared. Mambo mapya yanatangazwa. The Bible says, Bibia yasema. Behold I do a new thing. Anga tazama nafanya mambo yote kuwa mapya. May God do a new thing in your life. Hebu Mungu afanye jambo jipya maishani mwako. Amen. 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 The shedding of blood sit a little. Hebu kaeni kidogo kumwagwa kwa damu. The shedding of blood is important. Kumwagwa kwa damu ni muhimu. For if there is no shedding of blood. Kwa sababu kama hakuna kumwagwa kwa damu. The testament cannot be established. Agano haliwezi kuwekwa. For the blood has to be sprinkled on the book. Kwa sababu lazima damu inyunyizwe kwenye kitabu. And also on the people. Na kwa watu pia. Ah. I like that. The, the book itself must be sprinkled with blood. In other words, you cannot understand the book unless there is blood on the book. So the blood is on the book and the blood is on the people. Are you hearing me? So, so it's blood to blood. Are you hearing me? So when we are preaching, it's blood to blood. And Brother Branham says the blood, the word of God creates the blood token inside of you. Ah, ah, ah. Did you hear that? He says the word of God creates the blood token inside of you. Ishara ya damu ndani yako wewe. He says just like it did in Mary. Kama ilivyofanya ndani ya Mariam. It was the word ilikuwa ni neno that created the blood cell. Ndio umba chembe ya damu. So the token kwa hiyo isha is not the blood on the doorpost. Sio damu kwenye mimo na milango. The token is the message of the hour. Ishara ni ujumbe wa saa. That that is a direct quotation. Hiyo ni nukuya moja kwa moja. Brother Branham says the message of the hour. Dubrana anasema ujumbe wa saa. Is the token. Ndio ndio ishara. And then he says it is the token. Anasema na ni ishara. That makes the blood covenant to be recognized. Ambayo inafanya agano la damu litambulike. Okay, I'm I'm going. Hebu ngoja. Let me let me let me let me let me let me walk on that a little bit. Hebu ngoja 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 nitembee juu ya hiyo kidogo. That token makes the blood covenant to be recognized. Ishara inafanya agano la damu litambulike. So the blood was shed 2000 years ago. Sasa damu ilimwagika miaka 2000 iliyopita. And the covenant was established there. Na agano likawekwa pale. The covenant is the same. Sasa agano ni lile lile. But the token changes. Lakini ishara inabadilika. Watch this. Angalia hii. The covenant is the same. Agano ni lile lile. That you are saved by this blood. Kwamba umeokolewa kwa damu hii. But the requirement of the token changes in time. Lakini yale mahitaji kwa ajili ya ishara yanabadilika wakati unavyozidi kwenda. Pastor what are you talking about? Listen. Mchungaji unazungumzia nini? Sikiliza. Yeah. Ndio. Before they left Egypt. Kabla hawajaondoka Misri. Moses says take a lamb. Mungu alisema chukua mwana kondoo. Slay the lamb. Chunjeni mkondo mwana kondoo. Put the blood on the doorpost. Wekeni damu kwenye mimo ya milango. And the blood of the lamb shall be the token. Na damu ya huyo mwana kondoo itakuwa ndio ishara. Is that right? Hiyo ni sawa. So that was the requirement. Sasa hiyo ilikuwa ndio hitaji. At that time. Wakati ule. They come out of Egypt. Wakatoka Misri. Now getting into the promised land. Sasa kuingia nchi ya hadi. The spies get in there. Wale wapelelezi walipoingia They meet with Rahab. Wanakutana na Rahab. They do not say to Rahab, Wana slay a lamb. Hawamwambi Rahab chinja kondoo. The requirement has changed. Sasa kihitaji kinachohitajika kimebadilika. It is still required. Lakini bado kinahitajika. But it's now different. Lakini sasa kimebadilika. They say don't slay a lamb. Sema usichinje mwana kondoo. Take a scarlet thread rope. Chukua kitambaa chekundu. Put it on your window. Ninginiza jilishani. And that shall be the token. Na hiyo itakuwa ndio ishara. In the days of of Noah 
katika siku za Nuhu it was not the blood haikuwa damu it was the ark ilikuwa ni safina that god required kwa ambayo Mungu alihitaji in the days of the church ages katika siku za nyakati saba za kanisa it was the holy ghost ilikuwa ni roho mtakatifu that fell in the days of pentecost ambayo ilishuka siku ya pentecost and brother branham says the church ages Nubrana anasema nyakati za kanisa was the holy ghost age ilikuwa ni nyakati za roho mtakatifu Listen. Ndio. Jesus Christ, Yesu Kristo, comes as son of man. Anakuja kama mwana wa Adam. Son of God, mwana wa Mungu. And son of David, mwana wa Daudi. Son of man, mwana wa Adam. Is the virgin birth. Ni aliyezaliwa na Son of God, mwana wa Mungu. Which is the Holy Ghost. Ambaye ni Roho Mtakatifu. Is the church ages. Nyakati za kanisa. Son of David, mwana wa Daudi. Is the millennial reign. Ni utawala wa miaka 1000. But lakini Brother Branham says Branham anasema between son of God kati ya mwana wa Mungu which is the Holy Ghost ambaye Roho Mtakatifu and son of David na mwana wa Daudi which is the millennia ambaye ni utawala He says he comes back again anakuja tena as son of man kama mwana wa mwana wa Adam Hallelujah nasikia hiyo So kwa hiyo there is a token that is required in the church age kuna ishara inahitajika kwenye kazi za kanisa which is the Holy Ghost ambaye ni Roho Mtakatifu But brother Branham comes and says a serious statement. Branham anakuja anasema kitu ambacho ni muhimu. The Holy Ghost. Sema Roho Mtakatifu was bound at the river Euphrates. Alifungwa kwenye mto Frati. For 2000 years. Kwa miaka 2000. Until the messenger came. Mpaka mjumba alipokuja. But I thought they had the Holy Ghost in the churches. Lakini nifikiri kulikuwa na Roho Mtakatifu kwenye nyakati za kanisa. Yes, they had the Holy Ghost. Ndio alikuwepo. But not this type of Holy Ghost. Lakini sio aina hii ya Roho Mtakatifu. The Holy Ghost. Roho Mtakatifu. At the coming of Brother Branham. Wakati wa kuja kwa ndugu Branham. Is the person of the Holy Ghost. Ni utu wa Roho Mtakatifu. Is the pillar of fire. Ni nguzo ya moto. Is the pillar of fire. Ni nguzo ya moto. Brother Branham. Ndugu Branham. If you live long enough kama utaishi kwa muda mrefu utai like an immortal utakufa kama mtu mwingine yote baada mtuku utakuwa na utaratibu wa kwa Kristo hii mpinguzo picha itaishi hii nguzo ya moto coming in the ministry of the son of man inakuja kwenye huduma ya mwana wa Adam and brother Branham says Branham anasema the token message kwenye ujumbe wa ishara ulikuwa ndiyo kiwango cha mwisho cha huduma yangu hebu ngoja 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 kidogo and brother branham says branham anasema that token is the message that must be preached following after the opening of the seals ujumbe wa ile ishara ndiyo ujumbe ambao unatakiwa kufuata baada ya kufunuliwa kwa miuri news for you na ujumbe ni habari kwa jioni already preached the holy ghost series He had already preached the Holy Ghost. Alikuwa ameshahubiri jumbe za Roho Mtakatifu. The Holy Ghost series had already been preached. Yeah, you jumbe jumbe za Roho Mtakatifu. What was the Holy What is the Holy Ghost? Roho Mtakatifu ni nini? What was it given for? Aitolewa kwa kusudikani. What is the evidence? Na ushahidi ni nini? He had already Hayo yote alikuwa ameshayahubiri. And then he preaches the seals. Sasa anakuja anahubiri mihuri. And then he preaches the token. Alafu mwisho anahubiri ile ishara. And he says the token. Alafu anasema ile ishara is the thing that must follow after the seals. Nicho kitu kinatakiwa kifuate baada ya kufunuliwa kwa mihuri. So this cannot just be Holy Ghost. Sasa huyo hawezi kuwa Roho Mtakatifu hii. He says the token is the message of the hour sema ile ishara ni ujumbe wa saa and it takes the token to make the blood covenant to be recognized na inahitaji ishara ili kufanya agano la damu litambulike in other words na kwa maneno mengine if you claim that you have the holy ghost ukidai kwamba una roho mtakatifu it must bring you to the message of the hour lazima akulete kwenye ujumbe wa saa because the message of the hour is the token kwa sababu ujumbe wa saa ndio ishara this is your answer hii ndio jibu kwako. When you say there are people in Pentecost that have the Holy Ghost. Unaposema kuna watu no Pentecost wana Roho Mtakatifu. Hapana. Ah, 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 ah. hey, hey. You know before I came into the message. Kabla sijaingia kwenye ujumbe. I was a fighter. Nilikuwa mpiganaji. I used to play karate. Nilikuwa napiga so, karate. Sometimes I feel like just hammering the sasa najisikia kumpiga ibilisi. It's not possible. Haiwezekani to say you have the Holy Ghost. Kusema una Roho Mtakatifu. And remain in Anafu, Pentecost. Unabaki Pentecost. Brother Branham says. Branham anasema. The genuine baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ubatizo wa Yesu wa Roho Mtakatifu. We will make you recognize the message. Utakufanya utambue ujumbe and the hour na saa and the hour na saa 
That means even if you are in a message church that doesn't believe the full word. Ina maana kwamba hata kama uko kwenye kanisa la ujumbe ambao aliamini ujumbe wote. If you receive the Holy Ghost, ukipokea roho mtakatifu, come out of that church. Utatoka kwenye kanisa hilo. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. We are not here to warm up the bench. Hatuko hapa kupasha moto viti tulivyokalia. This is not a bus that is going to the rural areas. Hii si bus inaenda kijijini. Where you are just a passenger. Ambapo unakuwa mwaabiria tu. We are going to change dimensions. Tunagenda kubadilisha viwango. This is a reality. Huu ni uhalisia. Can you say amen? Unaweza kusema amina. Sit a little, sit a little. Hebu kaeni kidogo kidogo tuendelee. I am in Benoni now. Niko maskani ya Benoni size. We are now in South Africa. Hapa tuko Afrika Kusini. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> This is the message of the hour. Huu ndio ujumbe wa saa. Yes sir. Ndio. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. It's a paradox. Ni kitendawili. Something incredible. Kitu ambacho hakiwezekani. But it's true. Lakini ni kweli. Let's let's start lending my brother. Hebu ngoja sasa. Tuanze kushusha ndege na tua sasa hivi. Leta nukuu. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham says. Brother Branham The message paradox. Ujumbe kitendawili. 61:12:10. Maka 61 mwezi wa 12 tarehe 10. And first I would like to explain maybe what a paradox is. Labda nataka nianze kufafanua kitendawili ni kitu gani. In the dictionary it says that a paradox means something that's incredible. Katika kamusi inasema kwamba kitendawili ni kitu ambacho hakiwezekani lakini hata hivyo ni kweli. That is a paradox. Hiyo ndiyo kitendawili. Is that right? Hiyo ni sawa. Something that's almost completely out of season. Kitu fulani ambacho kinaonekana kitu ambacho kinaonekana kama vile yani hakina maana kabisa couldn't be so akiwezi kutatuliwa but yet it is i couldn't be but yet it is akiwezi kuwa hivyo lakini hata hivyo kiko hivyo that's a paradox hiyo ndio isha ndio kitendawili now i want to rest a few minutes on these words a sasa paradox. nataka nitulie kwa dakika chache juu ya maneno haya now we have many things that we could Uh, refer as a paradox kitendawili sasa kuna mambo mengi ambayo tunaweza kuyaita kitendawili one thing that i would like to refer to is this world itself is a paradox kitu cha kwanza ambacho ningeweza kurejea kwake ni dunia hii dunia hii yenyewe ni kitendawili its standing is a paradox yani kusimama kwake hewani ni kitendawili so so we are talking of a speaking paradox kwa tunanena kuhusu kitendawili kinachonena Is that right? Yeye hilo ni sawa. Now the Bible teaches us. Kwa hiyo Biblia inatufundisha. Uh, okay, Brother Branham teaches us. Eh ndugu Branham anatufundisha. Brother Branham is the Bible. Ndugu Branham ndio Biblia. So if I say the Bible say or Brother Branham say, why not? Wengine wanasema ah, Biblia inasema au ndugu Branham anasema. You eh? believe it? Eh? Amnaamini hiyo. Yeah. So three is the number of God's perfection. Sa namba tatu ndio namba ya Mungu ya ukamilifu. So we've got Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Kwa hiyo tuna Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. We've got water, blood and the spirit. Tuna maji, roho na damu. We have got justification, sanctification and the baptism. Tuna kuhesabiwa haki utakaso na ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. We have got yesterday, today. Tuna jana, leo na and forever. Hata milele. We have body, soul, spirit. Tuna Mwili, nafsi, roho. We have got outer court, holy place and the holy of holies. Tunaua wa nje, mahali patakatifu na patakatifu patakatifu. We have first pool, Tuna... second pool, third pool. Na mvuto wa kwanza, mvuto wa pili, mvuto wa tatu. We have Sinai, Calvary, sunset. Tuna Sinai, tuna Calvary, tuna sunset. We have Lord Jesus Christ. Tuna Bwana Yesu Kristo. We have got first Exodus Moses, second Exodus Jesus Christ. 
Ted Exodus William Branham. Tunakutoka kwa kwanza Musa, kutoka kwa pili Yesu, kutoka kwa tatu William Branham. We have got thought, word and flesh. We have got thought, word and flesh. Tuna wazo, neno kufanyika na mwili mwisho. We have got a body of flesh, we have got a wa nyama we have got a theophany body tuna mwili wa theophany and then we have got a glorified body na tuna mwili uliotukuzwa we have got abraham isaac and we have jacob tuna abraham tuna isaka tuna yakobo we have zodiac pyramid and we have got written bible tuna zodiac tuna pyramid tuna biblia iliyoandikwa we have old testament tuna agano la kale we have new testament tuna agano jipya and we have the third testament tuna agano la tatu But the Branham says, Branham says and there is three and three is the perfect number of God. Na namba tatu ndio namba kamilifu ya Mungu. God is perfected in three. Mungu anakamilishwa katika tatu. Like Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Kama Baba na Mwana Roho Mtakatifu. Justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Ghost. Usafiwa haki utakaso ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Uh, he is perfected because three is his perfection. Anakamilishwa kwa sababu tatu ndio ukamilifu. Five is the number of grace. Tano namba ya neema. The number of worship is 12. Namba wa kuabudu ni 12. 40 is the number of persecution. Nne 4. 40. ni namba ya ya mateso. 50 jubilee. Namba ya 50 ni jubilee. Uh, worship Pentecost means 50. Eh yeah, hamsini ni Pentecost inamaanisha kuabudu. Moses was tempted. Siku ya 40 eh, siku ya 40 Musa alijaribiwa. 40 days Christ was tempted you see. Siku ya 40 Yesu alijaribiwa. Pia. God is perfected in three. Mungu amekamilishwa katika tatu. Amen. Amen. Now a vision. Sasa mmesikia. Now let's look at this. Mebuangalie hii. Brother Branham says in says is this the sign of the end sir? Je, hii ni ishara ya mwisho wa Bwana? He says when you speak thus say the Lord. Unaponena Bwana sema hivi. It's not you. Sio wewe. Watch on the platform have you ever seen it fail? Je, angalieni jukwani imewahi kushindwa? That says the Lord is perfect. Bwana sema hivi yuko kamilifu. Never has failed. Haijawahi kushindwa. As long as it is that says the Lord. Mradi tu ni Bwana asema hivi. The Lord cannot fail. Mungu hawezi kushindwa. Is that right? Ye ni sawa. And as long as it that says the Lord it can't fail. Madam tu ni Bwana asema hivi hawezi kushindwa. Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. And the message of the hour na ujumbe wa saa is that says the Lord. Ni Bwana asema hivi. So the first the first testament was uh, the, was the was the old testament. Ilikuwa ni lile agano la kale which was led by Moses. Ambalo liliongozwa na Musa. And Moses na Musa in this first exodus kwenye uh, huku kutoka kwa kwanza when they were going out they had to sacrifice a lamb walipokuwa kitoka walichinja mwana kondoo a literal animal mnyama kabisa and in the second testament na agano la pili which is the second exodus ambao ni kutoka kwa pili we had Jesus Christ tulikuwa na Yesu pale and he was the lamb na alikuwa ndio mwana kondoo and they had to be blood that was shed na ilipaswa kuwe na damu iliyomwagika in the Third testament sa agano la tatu we are no longer having a killing of the lamb hatuna tena kuchinjwa kwa mwana kondoo we are having the recognition of the killed lamb tuna tuna kutambulika tuna kutambua kwa mwana kondoo aliyechinjwa tayari brother branham says dubranham anasema there was a feast called the feast of uh, 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 passover kulikuwa na uh, Sherehe ambayo ilikuwa na sherehe ya Pasaka. And Passover was the killing of the lamb. Na Pasaka ilikuwa ni kuchinjwa kwa mwana kondoo. And then they had another feast called atonement. Na kulikuwa na sherehe nyingine inaitwa sherehe ya upatanisho. He says atonement was not the re-killing of the lamb. Anasema sherehe ya upatanisho si kwamba alikuwa na uwa mnyama kabisa. He says but it was to come and recognize the lamb that was killed. Lakini ilikuwa ni kuja kutambua yule mwana kondoo aliyekuwa amechinjwa. So brother Branham says the opening of the seals was the true atonement. Branham anasema kufunguliwa kwa mihuri ilikuwa ndiyo upatanisho wa kweli. It was for you to recognize. Ilikuwa wewe uweze kutambua the lamb that was slain. Mwana kondoo aliyechinjwa. Is that right? Yeye no sawa. What the seven feasts of the trumpet is to Israel? Yale zile sherehe saba 
kile zilicho kwa Israeli is what is the seven church ages to the bride. Ni kila ni vile ambavyo nyakati saba za kanisa zilivyo kwa bibi harusi. Is that right? Yeye hiyo ni sawa. So our 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 lamb we have to see him in kwa our day. Kwa hiyo mwana wetu lazima tumuone katika siku yetu. Is that right? So the lamb of today is the word of God. Sasa mwana kondoo wa leo ni neno la Mungu. So he has to be tried just like Jesus was tried. Lazima naye ajaribiwe kama Yesu alivyojaribiwa. That one is not our lamb. Yule sio mwana kondoo wetu. It was the lamb to the Jews. Alikuwa mwana kondoo kwa Wayahudi. Our lamb is the word. Mwana kondoo wetu sisi ni neno. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amen. The lamb is the word. Neno ndio mwana kondoo. So he, he must die for the Gentiles. Lazima awafie watu wa mataifa. The word must die. Neno lazima live for the Gentiles. Kwa ajili ya mataifa. And it must rise. Na lazima lifufuke. So brother Branham comes and he preaches the message. Ndio Branham anakuja na ubiri ujumbe. What shall we do? Je, tumtendeje? With this. Na yes na with this Jesus called Christ. Eh, tumtendeje huyu Yesu aitwaye Kristo? Not that Jesus. Sio Yesu yule. This Jesus. Yesu huyu. Today. Leo. Is that right? Yeah, you know, and brother Branham says, Branham says, the world is again crucifying Jesus. Ulimwengu tena unamsulubisha Yesu. For the second time. Kwa mara ya pili. Because the whole world claims that they know Jesus. Sababu dunia nzima wanadai kumjua Yesu. But they don't know him. Lakini hawamjui. That's why they are crucifying him. Bwana wanamsulubisha tena. We have to come here. Inabidi tuje hapa. Because that's where we are at. Maana hapo ndipo tulipo. And brother Branham was not putting titles for jokes. Ndio Branham alikuwa weki vichwa kimzaha mzaha. And when, when, when it says the world has crucified Jesus Christ for the second time. Anasema ulimwengu unamsulubisha Yesu Kristo mara ya pili. And then he comes and then he says death burial and resurrection. Anakuja na ubiri ujumbe wa kufa, kuzikwa, kufufuka. Of which Jesus Christ? Ambapo ni Yesu Kristo. The word Neno. Jesus Christ today. Yes Christ leo. And then he comes and he preaches the true Easter seal. Anakuja na ubiri ujumbe unaitwa muuri wa kweli wa pasaka. And he says I'm not talking about the tomb in Jerusalem. Anasema sizungumzie habari ya kaburi iloko Yerusalemu. He says what I'm talking about the lamb rising in your heart. Na kuhusu mwana kondoo akifufuka moyoni mwako. There is no place where we are the same with them out there. Hapana uh, sister, hapana. There's no place where we are the same with the people in the world. Hakuna mahali popote ambapo tunafanana na watu walioko ulimwenguni. You can't compare me with Bushiri. Uwezi kunilinganisha mimi na Mwamposa. You can, you can. <laughs> Impossible. Haiwezekani. Our Jesus is not the same. Yes, wetu sio yule yule. Our prophet is not the same. Nabi wetu sio yule yule. Our message is not the same. Ujumbe wetu sio ule ule. We are believers of the message. Sisi ni waaminio wa ujumbe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know sometimes I just if you see me doing this. Unajua wakati mwingine ukiniona nafanya kama hivi. I am also a believer like you. Na mimi ni muamini kama wewe. Sometimes I feel this is too good. I can't just leave it without. Naona wakati mwingine nimekuwa tamu sana siwezi kuiacha ipite hivi. How 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 many times? Mara ngapi? Have you heard brother Branham himself? Umemsikia ndu Branham mwenyewe. Amen in what is preaching. Wakati anahubiri neno. The word amen itself. Na ide. The word even if the word amen itself neno linajiitikia amina lenyewe on its own lenyewe god can preach and say amina 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 mungu anaweza kuubiri na amina 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 brother branham says bana anasema as god was coming down on mount sinai the scroll as god kama wakati mungu alipokuwa anashuka mlima sinai was coming down on mount sinai wakati anashuka mlima sinai he worshiped himself Mungu alijiabudu mwenyewe. If you don't worship God. Usipomwabudu Mungu. God can worship himself. Mungu anaweza kujiabudu mwenyewe. He writes the scripture, you open he says amen in the Bible. Anajisomea andiko alafu anajiitikia amina mwenyewe. He even calls himself the amen. Yeye mwenyewe anaitwa Amina. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? So saying amen is showing that you are a part of God. Kwa kusema amina inaonyesha kwamba wewe ni sehemu ya Mungu. That's why I get excited. Ndio maana nachangamka na mnai. Because I jump up and I say amina amina. Kwa na ruka na sema amina. It's, it's too good. Ni tamu sana. Glory. Mtukufu. Sit a little. Hebu kaa kidogo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Ndiyo. So there's another blood. Sasa kuna damu nyingine. Of this age. Ya wakati huu. But it's not the literal blood. Lakini sio damu ile ya kawaida. That's why brother Branham says the token is not the chemical blood. Ndio maana nabii anasema ishara sio kemikali ya damu hiyo. He says it's the literal life of Jesus Christ. Anasema ni maisha halisi ya Yesu Kristo. In the life of a believer. Katika maisha ya muaminio. Hallelujah. Amen. Where is the life of Jesus Christ? Maisha ya Yesu Kristo yako wapi? In the believer. Ndani ya muaminio. That's why we say the things I used to do. Na maana nasema mambo niliyofanya. Siwezi kuyafanya tena. I used to do. Mambo niliyofanya. No siyafanyi tena. The things I used to do. Mambo niliyofanya. No siyafanyi tena. Hallelujah. Who is living in me? Nani anaishi ndani yake? Christ. 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 Tinashe Christ. Tinashe Christ. Arnold Christ. Arnold Christ. William Christ. William Christ. You Christ. Wewe Christ. Christ is not the same name of Jesus. Kristo sio jina la ukoo la Yesu. It is what he is. Ni kila alisho yeye. Christ is not my surname. Kristo sio jina langu la ukoo. It is what I am. Ni kile nilicho. The family in heaven. Dunia uh, familia mingi. The mingoni. family on earth. Familia duniani. Is called after his name. Inaitwa kwa jina lake. And and the name is the life. Na jina ndio maisha yale. The name is the life. Ma, jina ndiyo yale maisha. Eh? The, the name is the life. Okay. Mm. Jina ni uzima. Yes. Sawa. So if you if even if they give you your mother's same name. Kwa hiyo hata wakikupa jina la ukoo la mama yako. The life is not the mother's. Yaani ule uzima hautokani na mama. The life is your name. Uzima ni jina lako lile. Even the people from your mother will say this one is not really our. Hata our lineage this one. Undugu wa mama yako watakuja wasema huyu sio sio Hassan ni atokani na sisi. Because the life is the name. Kwa sababu ule uzima ndio jina. Let's put a comma let me put in a private room. Hebu ngoja tuweke mkato hapo tuendelee hapa. Listen. Sikiliza. The Bible says thou shall not take the father's name in vain. Biblia inasema kwamba usili don't take thou shall not take the father's name usilitwae jina la, la usilitwae jina la baba yako bure bure so you see many many times we thought it was maybe e, usilitaje jina la baba yako bure sawa he says uh, you know we say we, we thought it to say oh my god walimwona tunapenda kusema oh mungu wangu and then you think that is taking the father's name in vain. Alafu nafikiri huko ndio kutaja jina la Mungu. That is not what it was saying. Sio hiyo anayosema. So you can even say oh my god oh, it doesn't matter. Hello sema oh Mungu wangu hiyo haina maana. Doesn't matter you are just under pressure. That's why. Wewe ni pressure tu zimekukumba tu basi. Taking the father's name in vain. Kutaja jina la baba bure. Is you being a son? Ni wewe kuwa mwana. Listen. Sikia. The father becomes a father. Baba anakuwa baba. When the son produces the name. Wakati yule mwana anazaa lile jina. So if you were a son. Kwa kama wewe ni yule mwana. And you are refusing to have children. Na unakataa kuwa na watoto. To carry the name. Ili wabebe jile jina. That was taking the father's name in vain. Hiyo ilikuwa ndiyo kutaja jina la baba bure. When Christ was expressed. Kutwa. Wakati Kristo alipodhihirishwa. When the son was made manifest. Wakati mwana alipodhihirishwa. The office of the father came in effect. Ofisi ya baba ikaanza kufanya kazi. 
could not have been a father unless there was a son. And the son did not want to take the father's name in vain. Because the son says, I come in my father's name. When the cross came, it was now the trial to see whether he would take the father's name in vain. And the, father, and the father revealed that if you abide alone, the name is in vain. But the seed must be planted and reproduce itself. Then he said, not my will, but your will, O God. The pastor is the shepherd of the church. You are the sheep of the church. The shepherd does not reproduce. The ones that produce each other is the sheep. The Did, did you catch it? You are the one who's supposed to bring people to this church. Why is it the pastor is not bringing people? He's the shepherd. He's busy with you. He's busy with you. He has already produced people. That's why you are here. But, but it's time for the sheep to produce the duty of the shepherd is to lead the sheep to greener pastures. He says, Pastor Tinashe, come. Greener pastures. Pastor Gideon, come. Tinashe, pastures. Gideon, Pastor Shidaya, come. Shidaya, Greener pastures. But production comes from you. Amina. Amen. 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 Good. Yeah. Ndiyo. That's exactly it. Iyo ndivyo ilivyo kabisa. So, kwa hiyo, now in the third testament, kwenye agano la tatu, which brother Branham tells us the old and the new testament, ambapo ndugu Branham anatuambia kwamba agano la kale na na jipya, we shadow of today. Vilikuwa ni kivuli cha leo. Is that right? So that means we are the third testament. The manifestation of the first and second. Is that right? Yes, sir. So we read here in the book of Habakkuk. And it said, The Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. Uh, if you can project it, brother. Write the vision. Make it plain upon the tables. That he may write that readeth it. So, a vision has got stages. Asa ono linahatua. There is a written vision. Kuna ono lilo andikwa. Write the vision. Andika ono hilo. And then there is an open vision. Na kisha kuna ono lilo wazi. Make it plain upon the tables. Yani ilifanya liwe wazi kwenye yale vive vibao. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak. So there is a speaking vision. Is that right? Amen. Good. So that's why Moses is being told sprinkle the book. So the book is a written vision. But you cannot run unless it is now made plain. 
Lakini sasa uwezi kuenda mpaka liwe wazi hilo. We all had the Bible. Sote tulikuwa na Biblia. Until a man came paka akaja mtu and preached the same Bible to us. Akahubiri Biblia ile ile akatuhubiri. We realized we didn't have a Bible. Ndio tukatambua hata hatukuwa na Bible. The vision was written ono ilikuwa limeandikwa. But it was not made plain. Lakini ilikuwa haliko wazi. The Bible says Biblia nasema the child Samuel yule mtoto Samuel ministered before Eli alihudumu mbele za Eli in those days katika siku hizo the word of God was was precious neno la Mungu lilikuwa adimu sana for there was no open vision kwa sababu hapakuepo na ono lililo wazi the word of God was precious neno la Mungu lilikuwa la adimu yani la thamani sana kulipata he says the word precious means scarce E, na nabii anasema neno tha, le, neno thamani ilikuwa maana yake ni adimu it, it was not common yani ilikuwa ni vigumu kulipata because neno because there was no open vision kwa sababu hapakuwa na ono wazi and that is why samuel was called na ndio sababu samuel aliitwa to make plain the vision Ilya that was written alifanye liwe wazi ono liloandikwa so the open vision kwa hiyo ono lilo wazi comes when there is a man linakuja anapokuepo mtu that can come and make it plain. Ambaye anaweza kuja kuliweka wazi. To say I suffer not a woman to teach. Ili aweze kusema simpi ruhusa mwanamke kuongea. You were reading it. Ulikuwa unalisoma. But you were not getting it. Lakini ulikuwa ulipati. The prophet is the resurrection of scripture. Nabii nabii ni kufufuka kwa maandiko. When a prophet comes, Nabii anapokuja, he resurrects scripture. Atafanya maandiko yafufuke. It was written. Imeandikwa, you shall sojourn in a foreign land. Muta mtaenda katika nchi ya ugeni. 400 years. Miaka 400. And then I will deliver them out of Egypt. Nami nitawatoa kutoka Misri. And it was written. Na ilikuwa imeandikwa, do not bury the bones of Joseph. Msiizike mifupa ya Yusuf. The bones remained there. Mifupa ibaki pale. The people remained in, in prison. Watu wakabaki gerezani until the prophet came. Paka nabii alipokuja. When Moses came, wakati Musa alipokuja, that is the thing that could take them out. Hicho ndicho kitu ambacho kingeweza kuwatoa. Of the prison they were. Kutoka kwenye gereza walikuwa. There was no amount of preaching. Hapakuwa na uwingi wa mahubiri. To say we are going out even if the 400 years had arrived. Eh wakusema tunatoka hata kama miaka 400 imefika. That could take them outside of the prophet. Hiyo ingewatoa nje ya nabii. So when the prophet comes. Sasa nabii anapokuja. He anoints the word, he sprinkles the blood. Anapaka mafuta neno analinyunyizia ma damu upon the written vision juu ya ono liloandikwa to make it live kulifanya liishi and he then sprinkles the same blood kisha ananyunyiza damu ile ile upon the people kwa watu so that they can receive kusudi waweze kupokea hallelujah Amen. yes Ndiyo. That's why when Jesus came Ndiyo sababu Yesu alipokuja in the second exodus kwenye kutoka ya pili they handed him the scroll walimpa ile gombo he opened the vision akafungua ono he made it plain to the people akalifanya wazi kwa watu and he closed the vision akafunga ono and he gave the priests akarudisha kwa kuhani a book a kitabu, written book a kitabu, written table kitabu kilichoandikwa but that is closed lakini kimefungwa and the priests continued to read na yule kuani akaendelea kusoma a closed book kitabu kilichofungwa when brother branham du branham anapokuja was in another place yuko mahali pengine there was a roman catholic priest kulikuwa na kuhani wa brother katholiki. branham had no bible du branham alikuwa hana bible roman catholic priest yule mkatolik kuani brother branham akaja akampa du branham a bible Bibilia. He opened the vision. Akafungua ono. He made it plain. Akalifanya he wazi. He closed the book. Akafungua. And gave it back to the priest. Akamrudishia mkatoliki. And the priest continued. Na yule 
paroko wa kikatoliki to preach from a closed book akaendea kuhubiri kutoka kwenye kitabu ambacho kinapoteza there are many that have got the vision kuna watu wanaono written but it's not open lakini imeandikwa lakini haliko wazi but we are preaching ila sisi tunahubiri from an open vision kwenye ono lilo wazi haleluya amen It has been made plain. Limewekwa wazi. It has been made simple. Limewekwa wazi na rahisi. If someone comes, mtu akija and he says I'm going to preach a, a deep sermon. Akasema leo nitahubiri somo la kilindi. And after he's finished preaching, na baada ya kuhubiri, we don't understand what you are saying. Hatujaelewa alichosema. That is not deep. Hiyo sio kilindi. Hakuna kilindi hapo. He hapo. himself doesn't even understand. Hata yeye mwenyewe aelewa aliyoyahubiri. The vision has been made plain. We want ono imewekwa wazi. Simple. Raisi. 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 Are you hearing me? Amen. The message of the hour is simple. Ujumbe wa saa ni raisi. Things. Mambo ya kilindi. Simple. Raisi. If you want to go deep, go simple. Go simple. Go simple. Go simple. Ukitaka kuwa kwa kilindi, uwe mraisi. Uwe mraisi. Uwe mraisi. Ujumbe. Is in types and shadows. Ujumbe uko katika mifano na vivuli. Types and shadows. Mifano na vivuli. Types and shadows. Mifano na vivuli. And it's written in a pattern. Na umeandikwa katika mwandiko fulani hivi. In a pattern. In a pattern. E, umeandikwa katika mwandiko fulani hivi. Yes. Amen. So you must see the pattern from Genesis. Kwa lazima uone mchoro ulivyochora kutoka mwanzo. Uende. If the pattern doesn't go out, leave it. Kama huo mwandiko wa upatani vizuri achana na Pattern must start from Genesis kuanzia mwanzo paka ufunuo lazima viumane Don't get excited you just get one quotation you are running Usi usichangamke sana umesoma kanukuka moyo na kimbia nako Be sober Hebu uwe timamu Be sober uwe timamu You can be many years coming to church Unaweza ukawa anakuja kanisani miaka mingi. Paying your tithes. Unalipa zaka. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Umebatizwa kwa jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Yet it's not open to you. Na bado haijafunguka kwako. Yeah. That's why there's the fivefold ministry. Ndio maana kuna huduma tano. We are here. Huko hapa, tuko hapa. To tell you what brother Branham is saying. Kukwambia kile nabii anachosema. And when we say it you like, ah, now I see. Yes. Na tunaposema ndio unafunguka mbali unasema eh sasa naona hiyo ndio yenyewe sasa Brother Branham says there's coming men Nabii anasema kutakuja wa, me that will preach this watakuja watu nyuma yangu ambao watahubiri to make more sense to what i've said kufanya mambo yawe ya maana zaidi kuliko yale niliyosema mimi it doesn't mean that it, it doesn't have sense haimaanishi no. kwamba ya kwaka hayana maana hapana it's just to make it more sense to you ni kufanya liwe lionekana lina maana zaidi kwako no, wewe no, no matter how much let me tell you haijalishi vipi we all call each other brother wote tunaitana ndugu we all call, but you are not the same with us yeah. lakini hatufanani mimi na wewe truth. you are not hatufanani you, you are sheep and these are shepherds Nini kondoo na hao ni wachungaji. God open special understanding. Mungu anafungua uelewa wa maalum. I can, I can just read. Mimi naweza kusoma tu. What you were reading in quiet time. Kilo licho soma wewe I just repeat the same thing. Nitarudia kile kilo licho soma wewe. And you like, oh, no, it's Awe, nasema, hey, sasa no even explained it just Awe, read. Ndio naelewa sasa. That is that is the gift part. Hiyo ndio sehemu sasa ya karama. That's why you ought to respect servants of God. Lazima uheshimu watumishi wa Mungu. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Nasikia. It's not a joke. Sio mzaa huo. And God doesn't just reveal his things to anybody. Na Mungu hafunulii kila mtu kila kitu. You have to be consecrated. Lazima ujiweke wakfu. You have to live a right life. Lazima uishi maisha masafi. Prayerful life. Maisha ya maombi. Study the word. Soma neno. Hey. Ndio. And you come here you want to sleep while I'm preaching? Unakuja hapa unataka kulala wakati nahubiri? When I don't sleep preparing to preach. Wakati mimi silali wakati natafuta somo la kukumbia. You must respect the Lazima word of na God. Wewe uheshimu neno. Same. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God gives special grace. Mungu anatoa neema ya kipekee. Same thing that you have always read. Mambo yale yale ambayo ulikuwa unasoma wewe. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Unasoma hapo mwanzo Mungu akaziumba mbingu na nchi. Same thing. Kile kile. And I will come and I said, did, did you see 
That it said heavens. Unaona pao hapo ilisema mbingu. Meaning that dimensions it's many. Kimaanisha ni viwango sasa. And then earth is one. Alafu nchi ni moja. Unaona our subject today is the seven dimensions. Sasa somo letu leo ni viwango saba. Unasema I've been reading Genesis 1 but I Nisoma mwanzo mmoja lakini sasa ni kwa sababu you can get to Revelation 21. When you are failing on Genesis 1 here. Una? You think You can get to Revelation 21 when you are failing on Genesis 1. Unaweza unafikiri unaweza ukapata ukaelewa ufunuo 21 wakati mwanzo mmoja tu inakushinda. Brother Brown says the most difficult thing that God has put. Na Biblia anasema kitu kigumu sana ambacho Mungu amekiweka. In the word is for a mortal to believe another mortal. Ni mwanadamu kumuamini mwanadamu mwenzake. Cuz you be like I this brother kwa sababu unasema ha huyu ndugu sasa Pastor, I went to his house he was Kwanza, eating beans and things Nilienda like... nyumbani kwake alikuwa anakula maharage tu na na, na so matembele what? So what? Sasa nini anasema? Ana maana huyu. Doesn't matter. Hiyo haijalishi. What's kuku. important is what God haijalishi kwa msingi made that man. Ni kila ambacho Mungu amemfanya awe huyo mtu. Brother Bram says God could have chosen the son. Ndugu Bram anasema Mungu angeweza kuchagua jua. To preach the gospel. He could have chosen trees. Angechagua miti. He could have chosen the wind. Angechagua upepo. He says he could have chosen mechanical devices. Angechagua hata vyombo vya umeme hivi. He could have chosen a recorder. Angechagua hata chombo cha kurekodia. He says but God does not change his law. Lakini anasema Mungu abadilishi sheria yake. He has always used men. Daima ametumia watu preach the gospel kuhubiri injili here is cornelius in his house hata kama hata kwenye nyumba ya cornelius father i want the holy ghost cornelius anasema naomba roho mtakatifu please give me the holy ghost nipe roho mtakatifu god says your alms you're giving mungu akamwambia kutoa kwako his prayers maombi yako eh as reach the throne of god ah anasema eh kutoa kwako Maombi yako vimefika kwenye kiti changu cha enzi. He says, asema. You want the Holy Ghost. This is God. No, he wants the Holy Ghost. Wewe Colonel unataka Roho Mtakatifu, sio? Now rise up and go to, to, Sasa, to Jopa. Sasa. Inuka, uende kule Jopa. Is there no Holy Ghost where he is? Sasa hakuna Roho Mtakatifu pale aliko. Go to Jopa. Hebu nenda Jopa. You will see a man utakutana na mtu mmoja by the name of Simon Peter ambaye anaitwa jina lake Simon Peter who lodges in the house of Simon the ten ambaye anaishi kwenye nyumba ya Simon mtengeneza hema did you see that unaona hiyo sasa that the Simon Peter sasa Simon is dwelling in the house of another Simon Simon Peter anaishi kwenye nyumba ya Simon mwingine so when we say believe the man i'm not talking about Simon the ten at this one kwa hiyo naposema kwamba mwamini mtu Peter. Siami sizumzi kwa kumwamini yule mtu Simoni uangozi huwa nje huyo. I'm talking about Simon Peter who lodges a, a, in the house. Simoni Petro ambaye yuko ndani ya nyumba of Simon ya Simoni mtengeneza ngozi. He says he anasema yeye will give you the Holy Ghost. Atakupa Roho Mtakatifu. No not you God. I thought you God would give me the Holy Ghost. No, Peter. Peter will give you the Holy Ghost. Petro When they saw that that crippled man at the gate beautiful. Walipomuona yule kiwete pale mlango yutoa mzuri. They said silver and gold have we not. Walisema fedha na dhahabu hatuna sisi. But don't look at the cross. Lakini usiangalie msalabani. Don't look at the tomb there is nothing there. Usiangalie kule kaburini hakuna kitu. Tuangalie sisi. Such as we have we give unto you. Kile tulicho nacho tunakupa. And Brother Branham says our ministry is to impart eternal life. Dubrana manasema huduma yetu ni kugawa uzima wa milele. Yes. Ndio. It's the order of God. Ndio utaratibu wa Mungu. It's incredible but it's true. Yaani kama vile sio kweli lakini ni kweli. That you can receive the Holy Ghost by the laying hands of the apostles. Kwamba unaweza kupokea Roho Mtakatifu kwa kuwekewa mikono na mitume. That your sister there can give you her desire. Kwamba dada pala anaweza kupatia haja ya moyo wako. Unless you come to That's what will make you respect one another is to know what is inside of you is God, what is inside of me is God. Kitakacho kitakacho wafanya mheshimiane moja kwa mwingine ni kutambua kwamba kilichoko ndani yangu ni Mungu 
kichoko ndani ya yule ni Mungu. Yes. Amen. Ndi Mungu na wewe ndi Mungu na mimi. It's God everywhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Write the vision. Like. Write the vision. Andika ono. Make it play. Nifanye liwe wazi. At the end. Na mwisho. The vision will speak. Ono litanena. He says for the vision is for an appointed time. Sema ono ni kwa ajili wakati ulio kusudiwa. At the end the vision is supposed to speak. Na mwisho inabidi ono linene. Now there is a part that is very interesting. Sasa kuna sema ambayo ni ya kuvutia hapa. It says though it tarry. Anasema hata kama litakawia. Wait for it. Lingo J. Okay. Though it tarry, hata kama litakawia. Wait for it. Lingo J. And then there comes another one it sounds like a contradiction. Na kuna kuja sasa ingine inaonekana kama ni kinzani. He says it will not tarry. Anasema alitakawia. Okay. But you said it tarry here. Lakini ulisema sasa hapa kwamba hata likikawia. Though it tarry, hata kama litakawia, wait for it. Lingoje. It will not tarry. Lakini alitakawia. It will surely come. Litakuja hakika. Amen. Okay. Now, sasa there are two tarries there. Hapa kuna kukawia kuwili. And these two tarries are different. Na kukawia huku kuwili ni kuna tofautiana. You know the Bible says tarry in Jerusalem. Unajua Biblia inasema kwamba ngojeeni kule Yerusalem. So that tarry is a tarry of wait in Jerusalem. Sasa kungojea huko ni kungojea kwa kungoja kule Yerusalem. So it's a tarry of something that is Kusubiri, yani unasubiria kitu fulani. Is that right? Si ni sawa. And then there is a tarry that the Lord says I will not tarry. Na kuna kule kungo, ku, kungoja eh sasa ni sawa. That is says I will Kukawia kuna kule kukawia ambako Yesu anasema sitakawia. I, I will be coming soon. Nitakuja hivi karibuni. That means there is a tarry of waiting. Sasa manake kuna kukawia kwa kungoja and then there's a tarry of delaying na kuna kukawia kwa kuchelewa okay is that right ni sawa so when the bible says sasa biblia inaposema the vision is yet for an appointed time ono ni kwa ajili ya wakati ulio kusudiwa at the end it shall speak mwisho litanena the vision does not speak at the beginning Ono halinenagi mwanzoni. It speaks at the end. Linanena mwisho. And at the end it will not lie. Alafu mwisho alitasema uongo. And then it says though it tarry. Anasema hata kama litakawia. Now the first tarry is the tarry of waiting. Sasa kukawia kwa kwanza ni kukawia kwa kusubiri. In other words the vision is here. Maana yake kwa maneno mengine ono liko hapa. Is waiting for you. Linakusubiri. But you are there. Lakini wewe uko pale. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? So it says it will not tarry now. In other words, it will not delay. Kwa hiyo kwa anasema alitakawia kwa maneno mengine halitachelewa. The vision is not going to change anything here. It's not Kwa hiyo ono alitabadilisha chochote hapa. Because brother Branham says that says the Lord. Sasa ndo Branham anasema hivi asema Bwana. We read it. Tulisoma. Does not fail. Haishindwi. That's a vision. Hiyo ni ono. So in other words when brother Branham says that says the Lord. Kwa maneno mengine Bwana akisema Bwana asema hivi. When it's a vision it's already waiting for you. Ni ono kama ni ono tayari ninakungoja wewe. You think you are the one who is waiting for it. Wewe waza kwamba eti wewe ndio unalisubiri. But you are not the one who is waiting for it. Lakini sio wewe unayelisubiri. It is the vision that ni, is waiting ni for ono you. Ono linakungoja wewe. So, kwa hiyo when a vision breaks forth Ono linapotokea. Is that right? Je, ni sawa? When brother Branham says, Branham anaposema, I see Congressman Absho. Ninamwona yule eh, mbunge Absho. I see you trying falling down as a young man. Namkuona ukiona anguka ukiwa kijana mdogo. I see you crippled. Naona ukiwa umelemaa. I see you rising up. Naona ukiinuka tena. Into the ranks of politics. Unaingia kwenye nyanja za siasa. Even trying to be a president one time. Unajaribu kugombea urais wakati fulani. A great fulani. man. 
Jina kubwa sana. A statesman. Mtu wa wa ikulu. He says and then I see. Na kisha anasema na kuona sasa. I see you walking. Na kuona unatembea. Uh, wearing a brown suit. Umevaa suti ya kahawia. Do you have a brown suit? Uje una suti ya kahawia? This man is not walking. Huyu jamaa kwanza haongea hajatembea bado. Are you hearing me? Nasikia hiyo. So brother Branham says when I see somebody that is on the wheelchair. Anasema ninapomwona mtu amekalia kwenye gagari la magurudumu ile. And I see him walking. Alafu nikamuona anatembea. Then I declare the thing. Basi natangaza kitu chenye. That say the Lord. Nasema Bwana sema hivi. Because what I am seeing now is not your actual state. Sio hali yako halisi. Your actual state is in the vision. Hali yako halisi yuko kwenye ono. And in the vision you are walking. Na kwenye ono unatembea. But in the real life you are on a wheelchair. Lakini kwenye maisha yale yale ya kawaida huko kwenye. When that says the Lord calls. Bwana sema hivi kitoka. You can choose. Wewe unaweza kuamua. To remain seated in the wheelchair. Kubaki kwenye kurudumu lako lile. It does not change the vision. You can remain in the wheelchair. And tomorrow decide to stand. It will still be fine. Or you can decide to say let me stand now. It's still okay. The vision is already waiting for you. To walk. The vision is already waiting. Oh no, linakungoja wewe. So if if God says you are going to be perfect. Kwa hiyo Mungu akisema wewe utakuwa mkamilifu. The perfect you wewe wewe ambaye ni mkamilifu is already waiting here. Tayari unasubiri kule. You can mwishu. choose today. Unaweza kuamua. To remain wewe. in sin. Kubaki dhambini. It does not make the vision alive. Hiyo haifanyi ono liwe la uongo. The vision is already tiring. Lile ono tayari. But what I know. Lakini nachokijua. At the end. Kama if you, if you at the end. Lakini nachojua huku mwisho. It shall speak. Litanena. What is the speaking of the vision? Nini napo namaanisha nini tunaposema kunena kwa ono? Is the manifestation. Ni madhihirisho of what was written ya kile kilichoandikwa are you hearing me nasikia hiyo when god says there is going to be a bride mungu anaposema kutakuwa na bibi harusi it's written it's revealed it's open imeandikwa imefunuliwa ikoa but the vision is not complete lakini ono alijakamilika until the end time paka wakati wa mwisho the most important time wakati ulio muhimu sana is the end ni mwisho the Bible says Biblia nasema what matters is not the beginning of the matter sio mwanzo wa jambo lenyewe it is the end of the matter mwisho wa jambo lenyewe when Daniel wanted to understand Daniel alipotaka kuelewa God says Mungu alisema go thy way Daniel ondoka zako Daniel seal up the things tia muhuri mambo haya until the time of the end mpaka wakati wa mwisho Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the time. Who in your wakati? For the vision to speak. Kwa ono kunena. Brother Branham says. Branham anasema. He says. Anasema. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Uh, he says Jesus Christ says greater works than this shall you do. Anasema kazi kubwa kuliko hizi mtafanya. And then he says you cannot do greater. Kisha anasema muwezi kufanya kubwa. Than Jesus Christ. Kuliko Yesu. You can only do more. Unaweza kufanya zaidi. Than Jesus Christ. Kuliko Yesu. He says the word greater there means more. Neno lile kubwa kuliko linamaanisha zaidi. From 1947. Kuanzia mwaka 1947 mpaka 61. He says greater means more. Anamaanisha kubwa maana yake ni zaidi. And then 1961 going Niki zaidi. Lakini kuanzia hapo na kuendelea 61 na kuendelea huko juu. He comes back. Anarudi anasema. He says I have come to understand. Nimefika mali nimeelewa sasa. That's the word greater. Kwamba zile kubwa means greater. Inamaanisha kubwa kweli. 
He says Jesus Asema, yes. in his earthly ministry Katika yake never outrightly created anything. Kuumba kitu chochote, moja kwa moja. He would take water Maji, which was already existing substance ni kitu ambacho kipo, and turn water into wine. Maji kuwa he says he will take fish samaki, and bread na mkate, which are already existing substance ni vitu vipo, and multiply them. He says but Jesus Christ Yesu today Leo, in my humble ministry he nikevu. has created something Ameumba vitu. Without any substance. Bila ya kuwepo kianzio. Brother Branham says. Branham Jesus Christ. Yesu Christo. Did more in Jefferson view. Alifanya mengi sana. Than what he did in Nazareth. Kuliku alivyo fanya Nazareth. Ay, come on. Eh. That's the real vision. That's the speaking vision. The word of God cannot fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God cannot fail. Brother Branham. Branham. The second time he created squirrels. Remember there's the first time. And then there's the second time. The second time he created squirrels. In the message called the message of grace. He says I was walking in the woods. And I was meditating upon the scripture. That said... Uh, that said, this, let this mountain be removed. And be That's the first time. And then now he's walking in there. He's remembering that time. He says, and then a voice came there. And it said, Jehovah of the Old Testament is Jesus of the New. He says, and I saw three rainbows that were moving and making a sound. He says, I said, whatever it was, it was a living. He says, and that voice said unto me, how many do you want this time? He says, I want the limit. He says, I wanted the Indiana limit. Yes. He says, I said, I wanted five. That's the Indiana limit. Indiana, kikomo cha Indiana manake tano. Now five is the Indiana limit. Asa, tano ni kikomo cha Indiana. And then Brother Branham is asked to say one thing. Sasa, nabi Branham wanambiwa sema kitu kimoja. How many squirrels he wants this time? Unataka kindi wangapi wakati huu? He says, but sema, lakini, at that time wakati huo, I said nilisema, I want them before ten o'clock. Na wataka wao wametimia kabla ya sanne. The angel Asubui. didn't ask about that. The, yes. The, the angel didn't ask about that. Malaika hakumuuliza, hakumwambia, hakumuuliza kuhusu hayo ya maswala ya muda. But when the angel is spoken, lakini wakati na malaika alivonena, the check is blank. Sasa na malaika anaponena, ile hundi inakuwa tupu. You can say what you want. So he says, I want it before 10 o'clock. He says, I also want the sun to come out. And shine. Uh, for 30 minutes. The angel never asked to do that. And he says, I was in a mosquito infested area. Kama he says, and one big mosquito came and beat me. Asa, mbu moja akaja, and he said, I said, I do not want these mosquitoes to bite me Na, again. Nika sema, sitaki yao mbu waningate tena. Uh, I don't know if you are following me. See you kama mnafatiria. I'm saying the men spoke the mosquitoes out of existence. The, the third pool is speaking things into and out of 
kuviondolea so it's not only speaking things into it's also speaking things out of so he says I want my squirrels but I don't want my squirrels in the presence of mosquitoes hallelujah amen I want my children nataka watoto wangu but i don't want them in the presence of diseases lakini siwataki katika mazingira ya magonjwa are you hearing what i'm saying amen there are certain things you must speak out of existence kuna baadhi ya mambo yatakiwa utoendele to make way for your blessing kwa to make way for your blessing unatengeneza njia ya baraka zako njia ya mambo yako unatengeneza mwenyewe let the mosquitoes be out ondoka mnyewe mbu We speak your sins out of existence. Tunaweza kunena dhambi zako zikatoweka. We can't give a job to an adulterer. Tunae hatuwezi kumpa kazi mtu mzinzi. So let the mosquitoes of adultery go first. Hebu acha mbu wa uzinzi waondoke kwanza. Let the mosquitoes of fornication go. Mbu wa washerati waondoke kwanza. Then the squirrels will come. Alafu kindi watakuja. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says around that time. Asema kwenye mida kama hiyo. I heard a buzzing sound. Nikasikia mlio fulani. And I was about to speak. Na nilikuwa nakaribia kunena. He says and I listened carefully. Sema sikiliza vizuri. It was a truck in the highway. Kulikuwa ni gari tu inapita barabara ya mbali. Imagine if brother Branham said that buzzing thing should be out. Anasema the is Imagine brother Branham and say that buzzing thing should be out. Ah uh, wazia sasa kama ndugu Branham angesema hizo kelele za gari sitaki zisikie kule. That truck would have disappeared. Hiyo gari lingepotea. That truck hiyo gari would have been disappeared. Lingepotea. And then he heard the truck he said okay fine. Asikia akasema ah kumbe ni gari basi. Don't sound like a mosquito. Wewe kamwe usije ukatoa mlio kama wa mbu. You might be spoken out of existence. Unaweza ukanenwa, ukanenewa, ukatoweka. If your brother sound like a brother. Kama wewe ni ndugu. If your sister sound like a sister. Kama wewe ni ndugu nena kama ndugu, kama wewe ni dada ongea kama dada. Don't sound like a mosquito. Usitoe mlio kama wa mbu. You know the Bible says and Tama dressed the the dressing of a harlot. Na, the Bible says Tama was dressing like a harlot. She was not a harlot but she was dressing like a Ah, inasema kwamba yule Tamari alikuwa amevaa kama kahaba. That means there's Lakini a, akuwa kahaba. There is a dressing of a harlot. Maana yake kuna vazi la kikahaba. Don't dress like a harlot. Usivae kama kahaba. Don't dress like a snake. Usivae kama nyoka. A snake is dress it just follows the body. Unajua nani nguo ya, ya, ya nyoka inafuatisha mwili umbo la mwili lilivyo the, on, the only animal that wears a high heel is a pig pig uh, mnyama pekee anayevaa kokoko ni nguruwe is the only one that you see ndio anatembeaga hivi nguruwe usisikike kama mbu amen hallelujah He says I want one squirrel there. Akasema nataka kindi mmoja pale. I want another one there. Namtaka mwingine pale. The other one there. Mwingine pale. Efficient does not bleed. Yaani does not bleed. Bleed it doesn't bleed. Ono huwa halivuji damu. It's real. It's it's it says it says it says a vision doesn't bleed. In other words if it's still a vision it will not bleed. If I shoot it it will not bleed. It's just a vision. Kwa hiyo ono huwa alivuji damu kwa sababu alisema kwa sababu kama litakuwa ni ono liki kama lisipovuja damu basi ni ono hilo. So at the speaking stage it's substance. Sasa ka, wakati wa kunena hatua ya kunena ni kitu halisi. It's, it's no longer something that is fictitious. Sio kitu ambacho kiko katika hali ya kufikiria tu. So you shot the first one? Kwa ipiga risasi yule wa kwanza. He shot the other one. Akapiga risasi wa pili. And he started looking for the other one. Akaanza kumtafuta mwingine. He forgot where he had said he wants it to be. Alisahau alimtaka awe wapi. And it started barking. Akaanza kupiga mlio. But Abraham says and the squirrel was barking. Anasema yule 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 
Yule kindi akaanza kubweka. I don't know how a squirrel barks. Sasa nashangaa kindi anabwekaje. But that one barked. Lakini yule kindi alibweka. To say ow, 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 ow. Kalibweka. I am here. Mimi niko hapa. Shoot me. Nipige. Yeah. Nipige risasi. If God is in the matter. Wakati Mungu yuko kwenye jambo. Uh, it will find you. Litakupata tu. Are you hearing me? Amen. If God is in the matter. Kama Mungu yuko kwenye jambo. It will find you. Litakupata tu. A brother was rejected. A brother was rejected for a job. Ndugu alikataliwa kazini. They said your papers are not okay. Asema karatasi zako haziko vizuri. He said okay, it's fine. Asema vema ni sawa tu. And he is the one who had connected somebody to say let's go and look for a job to. Na yeye ndiye alikuwa amemuunganisha mtu mwingine kwamba twende tukapate kazi sasa. The person who invited got the job he didn't. Yule mtu ambaye walienda pamoja akapata kazi yeye hakupata. He was more qualified than that person. Who, yeah, the, the one who the brother was more Huyo ndugu ambaye alikosa alikuwa ana sifa kuliko hata yule mwingine. So for for over a year and some time kwa hiyo kwa karibu kama zaidi ya mwaka mmoja ama zaidi he was without employment alikuwa hana kazi so i could see things are getting very hard nikaona mambo yanakuwa magumu kwa ndugu so he came to my office sasa akaja ofisini says pastor sema mchungaji i now want a job sasa hivi nataka kazi i said okay fine nasema vema sawa uh, which job do you want unataka kazi gani He says I've applied a number of jobs. Sema nimeomba kazi sehemu mbalimbali nyingi sana. But the one that I want. Lakini ile ninayotaka is this one that I was rejected. Ni ile ambayo nimekataliwa. Ah. Sema ah. I said why were you rejected? He tells me the story that I told. Hebu niambie ulikataliwaje akanipa hadithi yote. So I said well it's your faith. Nikasema basi ni imani yako. If you want that same job kama unataka kazi hiyo hiyo Mungu anaweza kupa hiyo unayotaka If you have the faith for it Kama unayo imani kwa ajili yake So we had just preached why Christ speak Tulikuwa tumetoa kuhubiri kwa nini unalialia nena So he says I'm not crying Akasema mimi si hapa Hapa na nena I want this one Nataka hii So we prayed Tukaomba After we prayed Baada ya kuomba Sunday Jumapili Monday Jumatatu I receive a call Napokea simu Pastor Chungaji I got the job Nimeipata kazi I've been invited for for an interview Nimeitwa kwa ajili ya usahili I said who has invited you Nikauliza nani kakuita He says that same job Kazi ile 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 They fired they said I can't get Wali wali They said I cannot get Kazi ile ambayo walisema siwezi kuipata Is the one that they have called me for Hiyo ndio wameniitia sasa He says and the person who called me is the guy that I connected. Ni jamaa aliyenipigia simu ni yule ambaye nilimuunganisha mimi. So I told the gentleman to say but you know my story. Nikamwambia yule jamaa akasema lakini unajua habari yangu mimi. I cannot come there for an interview because I, I the papers they want I don't have them. Siwezi kuja hapo kwa sababu vigezo wanavyovitaka mimi sina kwenye karatasi zangu. So I said brother are you not the one that came to my office yesterday and you said you wanted this job? Nasema ndugu si wewe ulikuja ofisini ukaniambia kwamba unataka kazi. Now today you are telling me that eh, I don't have the papers. You said you have faith for this. Sasa leo unaniambia kwamba wewe una sifa za kuweza kupata hiyo kazi. Mbona unajishinda mwenyewe? And you know he says no pastor Sema unajua mshungaji. That man said, yule jamaa alisema, uh, you think I don't know that you don't have papers. Hivi unafikiri kwamba mimi sijui kwamba una papers. I already know you don't have papers. Najua tayari kwamba karatasi huna. You just come for the interview. I told them that you are coming for an interview. Wewe njoo tu kwenye usairi. Mimi nishaambia unakuja kwenye they, usairi. They desperately need a mechanic. They they, they desperately come closer. Come closer. They desperately need a mechanic. Ah, yani wana wana wako kwenye hali ya kudhikika wanahitaji fundi mechanic. Now, you see this man is a mechanic, this one is a mechanic. Sasa unajua huyu jamaa ni fundi na huyu mwingine ni fundi. So he starts telling fundi magari. The one that is working starts telling the brother. Sasa huyu anayefanya kazi akaanza kumwambia huyo ndugu. I'm going to be a part of the interview. Mimi nitakuwa mimi nitakuwa mmoja wao watakao kuwa nauliza maswali kule. So they are going to ask technical questions. Sasa watauliza maswali ya kiufundi. So here is the the matter. 
Kwa hiyo issue iko hivi. So you they will ask you a diagram like this a diagram Watakuuliza like kuhusu mchoro wa hivi, mchoro wa vile. You should answer like this and Wewe answer like this. hivi na hivi na hivi. So So now Kwa hivyo sasa and then they, they finished talking about the internet. Basi wakamaliza kuzungumza habari za usaidi. And that gentleman said. Na yule jamaa kauliza. Eh you know what? Unajua sasa? Eh hey, this days is difficult where we are working there. Unajua huku tunakofanya kazi mazilia ni magumu. They brought in this new machine. Wameleta mashine mpya. And this new machine is Na mashine is, nyingine hivi. Yes got parts like this parts like na that. Na sehemu za hivi na vile na vile. And uh, I, there's this component this blue na component it was difficult plan hivi ni kigumu sana kushughulika nacho. And then the conversation was over. Na mazungumzo yakaisha. The brother goes to the interview. Ndugu akaenda kwenye usaidi. There's white people sitting there. Kuna wazungu wamekaa hapa. Asking him questions. Wanauliza maswali. And the other friend is also asking questions. Na yule jamaa naye anauliza maswali. And the brother is nailing the questions. Ndugu anakongolea anga anajibu maswali ana nailing the questions. Piga tu maswali. Anatoa majibu vizuri. And then one white man said. Jamaa mmoja wa mzungu akasema. You seem to be knowing theory. Inawezekana wewe kwa bali ya nadharia uko vizuri. I don't think you know the actual thing. Sifikiri sidhani kwamba una, una, unajua kitu halisi yani. There is no way you can know this new equipment. Haijawezekani huo unajua namna ya kutumia kifaiki kipya mashine mpya hii. Detail like this. Kwa yani unaijua kwa vizuri kabisa namna hii. All right. Vema sasa. Do you know? Unajua? The brother said yes. Asema ndio. Says okay. Okay, sawa. If you say you know. Kama unajua kweli. What color is this component? Akasema hiki kifaa ni kina rangi gani? Of all the components. Katika sehemu zote za mashine ile. The component that he went to point. Sehemu aliyoenda kugusa kwa kidole. Is that component that they discussed and that man says there was this blue component. Na ni kile kile sehemu ambayo walijadili yule mwenzi akamwambia ni kile chenye rangi ya blue kile 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 And then the brother says it is blue Ndugu ndugu akasema hiyo ni rangi ya blue And the white man says congratulations Ah yule mweupe akasema kweli umefaulu hapa Hallelujah <laughs> The vision cannot lie Ono aliwezi kusema uongo It cannot lie Aliwezi kusema uongo Are you hearing me Nasikia the component was which color? Kifaa kilikuwa na rangi gani? Blue. Blue. Brother Branham says God is the God of the color blue. Ndugu Branham anasema Mungu ni Mungu wa rangi ya blue. Hallelujah. Amen. He says blue represents the trueness of God. Anasema rangi ya blue inawakilisha ukweli wa Mungu. And it reminded me of that little girl that came without eyeballs in the sockets. Inanikumbusha kuhusu yule msichana aliyekuja mbele yake akiwa hana macho. And God brother Branham says I'm going to pray that she receives sight. Ndugu Branham akasema nitamwombea kusudi apate macho. And Peregrine says I did not close my eyes. Peregrine ndugu Peregrine anasema sikufumba macho. I wanted to see what's going to happen. Nitaka nione nini kinaenda kutokea. He says kutokea. brother Branham prayed a simple prayer. Anasema ndugu Branham aliomba maombi marahisi. Heavenly Father Baba wa mbinguni. Yes, a little girl. Kuna binti mdogo hapa. Without wapa. eyes. Hana macho. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Na kuomba katika jina la Yesu. That you give her eyes. Mpe macho. Amen. Amen. He says as brother Branham was praying. Anasema wakati ndugu Branham anaomba. There were two sets of eyes that were coming from heaven. Kulikuwa na macho mawili yanashuka kutoka mbinguni. He mbingu. says I saw them. Anasema niliyaona. He says they were coming. Yalikuwa yanashuka. He says and they went into the eyeballs. Yakaingia kwenye ile matundu ya macho. When brother Branham said amen. Anasema ndugu Branham aliposema amina. The eyes opened. Macho yakafunguka. He says and the little girl was going away. Na yule binti alikuwa anaenda. And brother Branham said excuse me missy. Ndugu Branham akamwambia tamani binti mdogo. What color? Unataka rangi of gani? Eyes do you want? Ya macho. And the little girl said, Binti akasema, "Blue, blue." And today, na leo, if you are wearing blue, kama umevaa blue, may God give you as desire. Mungu akupe aja. Mungu ampariki sana. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You are wearing blue. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I appreciate you. Ah, Mungu awabariki. It has been wonderful. I love you with the love of the Lord. May he bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. May he bless you.
na wapendeni kwa upendo wa Mungu na Mungu awabariki the God of William Branham Mungu wa William Branham may he bless you awabariki may you keep you awatunze if we don't meet tusipokutana tena if we don't meet tusipokutana tena there is a rapture kuna unyakuo i will see you in the rapture nitawaoneni kwenye unyakuo